Sunday's scheduled implosion of all 19 floors of Flint's tallest building is moving forward on schedule. However, people and business owners are fighting to delay demolition. NBC 25's Josh Marshall live in Flint with details on why they're trying to delay the implosion of the city's tallest building. Bill, right now, crews are working and stacking up connexes and putting up a blast shield to protect the old Flint Journal building. But what you don't see is protection and reassurance for the people and business owners in Flint. They're voicing their concerns, and NBC 25 is working to get answers. I just can't imagine sitting in church and hearing some, like, big bomb go off. Concern over Sunday's scheduled implosion is growing. I think it should be done a different weekend other than the Sunday before Christmas holiday celebrations. The demolition is forcing holiday church services to reschedule and downtown business owners to vacate. Basically, it would like us evacuated from the building. The implosion is threatening the business started by Daniel Spaniola's father more than 60 years ago. I would like to come see what's going on just for my own sake and, and knowing what's happening around my building. Project manager Dave Lurvey is overseeing the implosion of the towers. The dust may travel a few hundred feet, so we need to make sure we're taking precautions. The dust is going to create and cause problems inside our building. Proper planning and procedures like creating a blast shield are in place. You try to put together a plan that makes the most sense for everybody involved. Yet people in Flint are finding the implosion too close to the holidays. I think it's really very intrusive and I think it's very uh, rude. Demolition officials say all concerns are being considered and the best decision has already been made. And on a Sunday in downtown Flint, that's affecting the least amount of people within this impact zone. The project manager says that if this snow and wind persist into Sunday, there's a chance the towers could not be demolished. In that case, the towers would stand for several more weeks until the next more logical date can be found. Live in Flint, Josh Marshall, NBC 25 News. All right, thank you, Josh.